Ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. I'm John Jennings. I'm Damien Duffy. And so we're here at Madame X to celebrate the publication of Black Comics, African American Independent Comics Art and Culture, a new art book from Mark Bay Publisher. We are the co-authors of said book. It brings together close to 50 African American independent comics artists, uh, showing off a lot of their art. And also we have some articles in the book that explain uh, some of the key figures and some of the interesting genres in black comics culture. Right. And um, we've been doing this like five years or so. Uh, just really interested in, in different aspects of, uh, of comics and uh, underrepresentation. And, and thinking about comics as a, um, a medium and not just a genre, and also um, using it for, 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 uh, for social change and also for pedagogical and educational um, uh, issues. So, yes, like and um, it, it kind of grows out of a bunch of art shows that we have been in the past few years. Uh, the biggest one was called Out of Sequence, Underrepresented Voices in American Comics, mm -hmm. from the Cranford Art Museum in uh, Champaign, Illinois, University of Illinois, where we both work and live. Um, and this book really grew out of that. We met a bunch of artists doing all these shows, and all these shows are really dealing with representation of comics, uh, both in terms of demographic sense, so we really wanted to get voices we felt like weren't being paid attention to by the comics mainstream out to people. Um, so we had a lot of uh, minority creators, gay and lesbian creators, women creators, uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also we were really interested in showing underrepresented forms of comics. Uh, so like abstract comics, yeah, like gallery comics. Yeah, virtual comics, web comics. Small press, just anything that kind of blows up the idea of what comics is and what comics can do. Exactly. Uh, so this book grew out of that because we had just met uh, so many talented African American artists who not a lot of people know about. Right. And, and that's just that, you know, it's unjust, seriously. So. Ingest? Unjust. Unjust? Unjust? Regest? Unjust. <laughs> <laughs> so we put all the artists in a cage and had them fight. I think you're going to say something yeah. crazy like that. <laughs> that wasn't true at all. Uh, we, as Damien said before, we were, had already been um, working on these, uh, these shows uh, dealing with underrepresentation, and so. Um, we had built kind of a relationship with a lot of the artists and um, and the creators, and uh, what's really interesting is that we're kind of part of this kind of subculture as well, but we're also uh, document, you know, uh, documenting it as well. Um, so when we were thinking about the the the, uh, the art for the book, I mean, we wanted it to be obviously quality work, the best work that we, that we think that we could, could offer in the book, but also uh, to show. Just, just, just how um, how diverse the work is. So we're checking out just a wide range of things. So we, we're trying to just find things that fit in different, not necessarily categories, but that seem to kind of like fit together in a certain sense. Like David was, was talking about earlier, we had like some work that was influenced by graffiti, we had some work that's uh, influenced by manga and anime, and we're, we're trying to get like just a broad spectrum as much as we could, just to show just how flexible that movement is. So um, the book, our book, uh, focuses mostly on African American uh, comics. Um, comics are international, and they, you really can't cover everything. So we, we really had to, um, we really wanted to focus on a particular aspect of the of the, um, the experience here in America. So to answer your question, it was a, it was a uh, an American-centered piece, just out of the necessity of not have we have to let volumes of it like this. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and and really the way we decided on who was in it, I, there were certain sort of key figures that we knew we needed. And a lot of other people, it was uh, kind of pragmatic. It was, we have a deadline. Can you get us started by this deadline? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and as a result, there are, there's definitely, the book should not be seen as sort of universal or like these are the masters of black comics or something. Mm -hmm. um, this is just a subsection of, uh, I would say, hundreds, maybe a thousand, a thousand, I, a lot, a lot of really talented artists. <laughs> scores. Scores. I always like scores. A fortnight. No, that's time. I think one of the great things you get from this book, even just looking from the cover, is that it's called Black Comics, but no one comic looks like any other. Right. Uh, you know, we have 48, 49 artists, 48, 49 different styles, different stories. Mm -hmm. And just breaking down the idea that you can uh, celebrate a culture, you can represent a culture, but also represent individual achievement, mm -hmm. uh, individual expression. 
Uh, so you can follow our artwork on g2d2arts.blogspot.com, and you can learn more about Black Comics and the Black Comics movement at blackcomicsbook.com. So I'm John Jennings. I'm Damien Duffy. We're J2D2. And you're watching Sonic Eclectic. Lucky you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>